What's going on there guys, Krahu here, and this is total destruction of the enemy team. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am using the AK-47 with Spaz-12 as my secondary. Uh, Marathon, Hardline Pro, and Ninja are my perks. One more week. One more week from today, we are all going to be playing Modern Warfare 3. Now, I was about to do a commentary earlier. But I was busy watching the uh, live stream from IGN on Modern Warfare, 2, Modern Warfare 3. I have to say that the game looks pretty damn awesome. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't too crazy about the UMP. Uh, but later on, I actually asked a question in, for ING. Of course, it didn't get answered because they probably got flooded. Uh, but uh, I asked about the UMP. Is it not to an extent overpowered, by, uh, but are all the weapons kind of able to go against each other in like you know particular category like assault or SMG or whatnot now somebody else asked the question and it got answered now they say that they tweaked the UMP definitely that's what they said that it's not gonna be a laser beam cannon like it was in Modern Warfare 2 so that kinda puts me at ease uh, from what I saw it's actually not that bad guys I thought smaller maps are gonna equal kill streaks everywhere and it's just gonna be a a traumatic experience to be quite honest. I was still excited about the game, but I thought it was gonna, it's just gonna be a clusterfuck, choppers everywhere, no way, nowhere to hide, a person that has their chopper up first is gonna win, but that was not the point at all. Like, uh, I did not see that. Uh, everything seemed very balanced uh, in, in my eyes, and I watched the stream for four hours, so I am talking, uh, you know, after watching the entire stream. Now, all the weapons, SCAR-H, uh, actually SCAR-L, UMP, P90, uh, the PPM, whatever the hell it was, the other SMG, uh, Striker, Shotgun, A12, everything is back. Well, aside from that PPM, you know, 2000, whatever uh, the name was, I'm not too sure. Everything is back, M4 is back, um, M60 from COD4, and of course, uh, Black Ops is back. Uh, I actually... <laughs> I'm very interesting, interested in uh, playing the M60 with just the pure iron sight. I thought that iron sight was badass. I mean, it was bad in the first place, but it, at the same time was very badass. Uh, chunky piece of crap, I have to say. Uh, but I am not too happy. Instead of putting in the UMP, uh, how about putting the Uzi? And actually sprucing it up a bit so that it actually does something. Call of Duty 4 Uzi was the worst SMG out of all. Uh, Black Ops Uzi, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Modern Warfare 2 Mini Uzi was actually uh, halfway decent. Now, I don't care what they put, they could put a variant of um, the Mini Uzi or the Uzi. Uzi one of my is one of my favorite weapons, uh, for sure. So I would really welcome it back, but it's okay. Uh, fan favorites are back, like I said, the P90 and all that jazz. Uh, so it's all good. Now, um, I saw pretty much every single kill streak in the game there's one i think it's called Ops, Ops Ray gunner i think it's called it's basically a chopper gunner which craps out care packages now i don't know what's the limit i think it's four that i can crap out in a you know in a designated area that you choose and you also pilot it and you it's a basically chopper gunner but it's okay because it's an 18 kill streak uh, to be quite honest, they put so much emphasis on explosions. Uh, they always wanted to say that, look, even though it's direct hit with, well, not a direct hit, even though it's a very close hit with the launcher, it still didn't kill you, blah, blah, blah. And I know that IGN people and Modern Warfare 3 people are not gonna, they'll be kind of stupid to bash their own game, so they didn't use the blind eye assassin that silence combo, but they used what's pretty much gonna be used in majority of the uh, of, of the community. Believe me, I, I honestly do not think that people are going to use Blind Eye Assassin and Dead Silence to that extent. My favorite third tier perk is gonna be Sid Rep. And you can count on that. I just got my PX5 Turtle Beaches, which I'm thinking about doing a review. Let me just use them for a couple more days and then I'm going to sum it up. But believe me, I don't think it's gonna be this bad, uh, Blind Eye Assassin. I don't think a lot of people are gonna use it. Uh, so, uh, don't worry about that, guys. Believe me, don't worry. Uh, the game is coming out next week. I'm super psyched. Cannot wait. I'm gonna be at the midnight release uh, for anybody that's wondering. Maybe I'm gonna release details where exactly I'm gonna be, but uh, you have to follow me on Twitter for that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, not only for Modern Warfare 3, but also it pushes my content forward, and I would appreciate that very much. 
Uh, so yeah, as you guys see, this is total destruction of the enemy team. They had no idea what the hell was coming, and um, I'm one kill shy of 40, uh, 40 kill gameplay, which was pretty sad. But like I said, uh, they, Robert Bowling said that they removed the verticality prior to the uh, to uh, the stream, the verticality from the maps. But as you know, the sledgehammer guy said, the ver verticality is there. They kept it. So I don't know what the hell Robert Bowling was saying. In Twitter, maybe it was done on purpose. Who knows? Who knows? But the verticality is there. However, the maps are Call of Duty four-sized maps. No more derail type of map. Well, we only saw a couple, so you can't really judge. Uh, but to my understanding, it's you know, remember backlot, remember vacant, uh, remember strike. Strike was kind of on the big side, but backlot is a perfect example. Backlot and and vacant. That's the type of maps that I really like. Now, um, there's a sweet ass kill streak that five, you know, uh, little choppers come and, and, and just fucking destroy the whole area. That's gonna be one of my favorites, probably. I don't know how I, hit, how I didn't hit that guy, but this is for the final kill. I'm gonna talk more about it in my next commentary. Final score is 39 and 1. Hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, leave your thoughts on what you thought about uh, the live stream of Modern Warfare 3 on IGN. So, this was Krahu. Thanks for watching. Bye.